Yo, Isa. Yes. Are you getting buffed? <laughs> All right. Patch 8.01 alongside Gutting Sky gave Valorant's newest duelist some needed support. Longer lasting, easier to grab orbs, and a skinnier hitbox are welcome changes to a not so popular character. While Iso is undeniably cool, is he super broken now? There is only one way to find out, and that's with a live commentary, baby. If you like this type of content, be sure to like and subscribe, and let's get into it. All right, we're live. Uh, welcome, welcome, welcome. I uh, hope you all are having a great day, wonderful night, whatever time of day it is for you. It's two in the morning for me, so that's something. We're going to be trying out the, those ISO buffs. Uh, I haven't really gotten much of a chance to, um, but I didn't want to experiment with him because he's kind of a forgotten character, I'm not going to lie. People kind of just forgot about him after, like, I don't know, a week or two after he came out. You see the occasional ISO here and there, but am I really going to lose this? Okay, thank God. Um. Standing. Oh, bad, man, my aim bad. <laughs> um, you see the occasional ISO here and there, but not as many as you honestly want. Because he's not a bad character; he's just very situational. Um, at least I feel. Um, he's definitely not as good of a duelist as you almost want him to be. Um, but he's a great second fragger, and he definitely gains a lot of momentum after his first frag, and that's what counts. I think his buffs made the orbs last a little longer, his barrier lasts a little longer, it's a little thinner, so you don't get it, you know, just uh, poked out by accident. The wall's a little cheaper, I know that. Peek up top. Oh my, oh, I cannot aim. Yeah, wow. Oh my god, my crosshair placement's so bad right now. Oh god! Definitely no buffs to uh, the player's aim, that's for sure. <laughs> can't, can't fix that with any character buffs. But yeah, despite the fact that I have not actually done anything with the character yet, because I'm whiffing literally all my shots, um, and just purely talking hypotheticals, I still think he's a fine character. This ability, his Q, highly underrated. No one uses this thing to the extent that they should. Um, combined with literally any you know, uh, poke okay. utility, damage utility. Dude, it's goaded. Double damage is something that should not be underestimated. Who could be behind this fucking box? I hate this goddamn map. Begins. He is behind the box! <laughs> yeah, I still think he has a lot of use. Um, his ult especially, too, is still really strong, despite it, you know, being a fair fight. Just being able to take someone, especially like a defender, One like Killjoy or any other Sentinel, really, out of the game and take their utility out of the game, that's really strong. It's something that a lot of people just, you know, haven't entirely considered yet. Um, I know some teams have ran him in some pro games, but I still think he's a really strong agent, personally. And especially, especially for public matches, dude, he's fine. You don't gotta worry about, like, the, you know, super high-level meta, but... For public games, he's absolutely a fine character to play, and he's honestly really fun. It's something that's really unique that uh, Valorant hasn't offered until he was released, and especially now that he's a little better, is definitely something you should try out. Player standing. Um, this is mighty unfortunate. Show me a target. Destabilizing. Go. Yeah, this does not help the fact that I cannot aim right now for whatever reason. But once again, the Q is super strong on pistol. You saw that. I two, I two tapped his body, and he got obliterated. That's really strong. Oh my god, I'm really laughing. Standing. That's tough. I got blinded. I'm literally whiffing all my shots. I don't know what it is, man. <laughs> Show me a 
Show me a target. Spike down A. One enemy. Dude, I cannot aim despite the fact I got one kill. I cannot aim for the life of me. We still won, but like, oh god, I gotta play another game. So like actually show off the character. Alright, new game. I'm actually gonna like try and perform this time. Who knows? I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, with the frenzy, I can like a second double tap on an undercut, but I do have to use the frenzy. Usually, I just use the ghost because you know it's the ghost that's really good. I don't mind the frenzy all that often. But... Breaking them, no targets. One enemy remaining. That didn't feel too terrible. Not enough. Not bad. Last player standing. I thought about ulting the planter, but I was dead afterwards. <laughs> that is the power of ISO, though. Every time you get a kill, you essentially get a free hit as long as you can, you know, aim. I can't right now. I don't really know why, but. His strength is... It's pretty strong once it gets going. It does take some work to get it going, and he doesn't have a lot that allows him to get it going. I think his wall is still kind of shit in that regard, but, like... He's not a bad agent. Especially because I could do shit like this and help out my whole team. Now, you know, like... Stabilizing. Breaking down. Show me a target. Stealing sight. I stopped their raid. Fight planted. No distraction. Could get one. Oh my god, now I can aim. Ah, oh, fucking. One enemy and remaining. That's the end. Uh, now I can aim. Oh my god, that was an insane shot! Holy! Just took a skin change and a whole new game to get, you know, clocked in, I guess. Oh my god. And I forgot to shoot the orb at the end of his ult, but uh, what I did want to talk about is that when you have, you know, your ultimate and you have a shield available use your ultimate because you get the shield inside the ultimate further you know pushing your odds, pushing the odds of the fight in your favor sure you still might whiff but like now you can't die instantly and the other person can in a lot of cases so yeah it's pretty strong spike down i almost beefed that like completely Making cover. Go, go, go. Get them. Okay, they're all here. I don't. Why did I get to there? <laughs> I might do that again. Fuck it. Double, double tap. Uh, contingency. Is that what it's called? No, that's undercut. The other, the wall is contingency. An undercut. A double, double tap, and a frenzy. Valorant terms, man. <laughs> You know what? We're gonna get feisty. We're gonna burn this uh, undercut immediately. We're just gonna fucking throw it in there. If they try and peek, they're gonna get vulnerable. Here we go. Focusing. <laughs> <laughs> I got one. That's what counts, right? My chamber abandoned me, but that's okay. I also do think the guardian is almost re like really busted on this guy. Uh, undercut Guardian shots do 130 to the body, so you essentially now have a 12-round outlaw to anyone with light armor, and it also is like, you know, a actual gun. It can actually do things, you know, unlike the outlaw, which I don't, I don't like it as much, you know, during like an actual bonus round or whatever. Focusing. Breaking down. Fire Breaking. Show me a target. Oh, if I'd shot the thing, I missed it. If I'd shot the thing, it would have been so cool. Oh, no.
I saw it. I saw it in my brain. It would have been so cool. I would have cucked that guy's ace. Oh, if only I could aim, man. <laughs> Show me. So, I got the thing, but it didn't help. <laughs> Last player. Breaking down. Spike down A. One I enemy gotta... remaining. <laughs> Especially in fights like that, when you're up against, you know, a ulted Reyna. Um, ISO just doesn't have a lot that you know, kind of turns the tide. This is nice, but it doesn't really change the fact in, you know, Vandal versus Van- or like Vandal versus Vandal, which is very common right now because the Vandal is- I don't want to say it's better than the uh, Phantom, but it's definitely preferred by the large majority of the player base. So it just doesn't really help you in that. This is- eh. I probably could have used it there, honestly. Um, might require some more exploration, but- yeah, right now, ISO. Show me a target. He's still a good agent, don't get me wrong, but it's hard to get started with him. He doesn't really have a lot of utility that does that. And quite the shame, I think. Destabilizing. Focusing. One enemy oh my god, I cannot aim. I don't think you're right here, but you could be. You are? Stopping fire. See, that helped there. That's not the worst ability in the world. <laughs> that was a good game. That was a good game. Oh my god, I actually played obscenely differently that game. God, I played so well. Holy. Alright, well, I'm gonna end it there. Hope you all enjoyed. Uh, Iso's still a good agent. Like, don't, don't get it twisted. Let's not get it twisted. He's still a solid agent. Thank you all very much for watching. Be sure to leave a like if you liked it, and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Let me know how you, what you think of ISO in the comment section below. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace!